Hey guys, Clyde here, live at Leechburg Lights. I know that I haven't made any videos for quite a while, but this one is definitely a, a modification to X lights that I really have been looking for for a very long time. Uh, many of you uh, are like me who have trouble using this layer blending uh, screen. Now, forgive me, I'm on my laptop. Uh, I'm not as uh, good at doing videos on a laptop, but uh, this made it a little easier to just kind of break this all down and do it. Um, the layer blending uh, for me has always been a little mystifying. When when the normal effects layer was added, where it just blends everything together, it made it a whole lot easier to use layers in your uh, different props, such as your mega tree. Um, with uh, some of the most recent releases, now this is May 9th's release of uh, 2016. Dot two seven. Uh, I don't know that this is in this. Uh, this was new. This uh, release maybe within the past one or two releases. The layers setting um, dialog box is now available, and usually I can go to perspectives here and uh, go back to default perspectives. And this is the default where everything's over here. What I did was I just moved my model preview over here. And I have layer blending and I have layer settings. Here we go. And the layer settings is similar, in my opinion, to uh, similar to the uh, effects assist window where you actually can, you know, figure out your X, Y coordinate. And you can actually create two layers using the same area or spaces and uh, you can go right up to and include them. And you, as you see, as you tear it apart here, you can have uh, a, a couple different different ways to uh, render different effects and so forth. Um, I think this is this is going to make it much easier for for me to create my effects uh, exactly the way I wanted them. So I'm pretty excited about this. Um, so this is all I wanted to do was today was just do this little video and show you guys that this is pretty simple. Um, let's go ahead and put a couple different effects in here. Now, you'll notice that whenever you click on a oh, model preview, put it back up there. Um, when you click on one, you put out, let's say you pull an effect. The first effect you pull doesn't matter. It automatically has a space that is exactly the same as this space here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag this into a new area and then I'm going to move this down until it's in its own area where I want the effect to be rendered. And um, then we'll play with some colors. Let's get rid of the white there and uh, let's play with the effect some. And we can make the swag speed, I think, a little faster. And we can repeat it. And so now what I've done was, see, I've, I've, I've selected, I started with selecting the effect that was in the top here, right there. And I have moved it. by clicking and dragging on the uh, XY this, and moving the box to where I want it to uh, portray in my mega tree. Um, so let's pick a different effect here since, and I'm using the last selected, see how this was selected at one point, and now they're sharing the same area. We're just gonna click and drag on the edges And that should do it for the fan effect. Let's go back and I want to do the morph effect. And this is what I really wanted to be able to do. Um, and of course, I haven't played with it and playing with it for the first time. Here's the morph effect. I'm going to click and drag and bring it over here. And we're going to lower this.
this was my hope was to be able to to uh, do morphs in a more specific area of the mega tree, and um, we'll just we'll leave it as that right now, and we'll just do the opposite on the other side. Oops, that's not it. Delete. And we want those morphs to go opposite each other. Let's go down, full sweep down. Or full sweep down. Yeah, there we go. And, yeah, see, I always thought that that would be a cool effect, was to have different morphs going different ways on the tree. Just like you have in the morph effects assist window, whenever you want to bring it up. So, um... There's those two. Let's do it again. But let's do it again down here. And I'm I'm actually looking up there while I'm trying to position it. I'm looking at the the model preview to make sure I'm not over I'm not overstepping them. See See, there's there's ever ever there's no there's no lag or drag or crossover between the two effects here. So this was my second one. Let's go back to my second one, and we'll do the same thing. And we'll pull this over here, and now we'll drag this over to here. And I'm, now I'm looking up there while I'm dragging to make sure I'm not. And let's go and change this to full sweep up. Okay, here's another version of uh, the using a different effect. Uh, I know I, I spent more time with the uh, the morph, and which the the morph actually has this X Y coordination using the the effects assist window. You can go to uh, uh, View, uh, and Windows, and go to Effects Assist, and bring it up, and it's right here. And you can, whenever you're working with Morph, it, it does allow you to use the Effects Assist. But um, in this case, I didn't want to. I wanted to try using the layer setting. And so what I did was I took the time and I made this little effect here, just a, a very simple... Uh, color fade from red to green, green to red, and here's the rendering on it. Um, I think this looks really neat. I think this gives you an idea of, of the opportunity you have to use uh, uh, the, the different layer settings in different um, with different effects to create different looks. So um, I hope you enjoy the video there, guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions. As always, you can get in touch with me at www.leechburglights.com. You can email me at leechburglights, uh, leechburglights at gmail.com or uh, check me out on Facebook. So uh, uh, thanks for watching and have a good one. Good being back.